Good morning and welcome to this week's Midweek Reflection. We're looking today at Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And what happens in chapter 3 is pretty much summed up in the first verse. So I'm going to read verse 1 to you. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun. Then each verse goes on to talk about life events, some that are maybe more positive and some that are maybe more challenging, and how there is a time for each one of these things. As Christians, we're often talking about and very aware of God's timing. Even in the last few weeks, I've had a number of you tell me uh, different situations that you've come across and you've used the line, but God's timing was perfect. God's timing was perfect. And we're very aware, aren't we, as people who follow Jesus, that God sometimes answers prayers in, in his own time. Sometimes that timing can be a bit longer than we might be expecting, or sometimes it might be just in the nick of time, how it feels. Well, in the summer, it's often a time where we rest. Maybe some of us will have had the summer holiday. Maybe some of us are looking forward to our summer holiday. But what I encourage you to do is to take this moment to pause, to look back, reflect over the last year, reflect over God's timing uh, in your life. Maybe also take some time to choose a book of the Bible you've not read at all, maybe, or maybe you've not read before. And just to read through it and spend some time reflecting with God. Enjoy the season of quiet as well as the season of busyness. My hope and prayer for each of us over this summer is that we get some space just to be, just to be with God, to recuperate and to reflect. Just to say this is our last midweek reflection before the summer, we're going to give some time and some space uh, to, over the summer holidays, the end of July and August, uh, just to give those who do the rotor a bit of some time off and a chance for us to pause. But also to say that come September, we're going to be starting something new with our reflections. You might remember we took some feedback earlier in the year, uh, which was so encouraging, actually, to hear how many of you are listening to these and finding these really helpful. It was more than we actually imagined that we're still tuning in. So we're so grateful that people are listening and so grateful that this is really helpful to everybody. So come the autumn, we're going to pick up um, some series. We're going to do 12 weeks on Proverbs come September, taking a proverb every week. And although these are the midweek reflections that we originally started uh, in lockdown, in, basically because we couldn't do communion on a Wednesday, we want to encourage everyone to listen to this, even if they're not free at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday. So we're going to be calling it a midweek reflection with no specific time. So you can listen to it at any point that you would like to um, during the week. Maybe more of us can journey together on these. In addition to doing um, some series, so like the Proverbs series, we're going to move away from the lectionary. Some of the feedback was people would like to look at sections of books or questions or topics. So we're going to take some time to do that. But in addition to that, we're also going to be having some roundtable discussions some pulling apart some maybe difficult or some challenging things with two or three of us sharing a little bit about that. That's not going to be until 2024, but we'll tell you more about it nearer the time. We're also going to make them a little shorter. We're going for five minutes as people found that was a good time to be able to listen to. And also putting them on podcasts because I know for some people YouTube really works at home but for others who may be commuting or maybe wanting to listen to something where you're out for a walk or out for a run then a podcast is really helpful. So you'll be able to find Parish of Cove um, in the podcasts on your phone and from September in fact you might even get a bit of a sneak preview now but you'll be able to see or hear some of our midweek reflections there. Details of all of this will follow in the parish email. But I wanted to say thank you for feeding back to us. It's been really helpful in working out how we can shape this to serve you continually as we go forward in the future. Have a wonderful summer. <laughs>